living. You too, eh? Are ye man and wife? No, sir. For though I'm a fool, there is a limit to my folly. No other of all pretty Maynard travels with us, for Elsie is a good girl. But the old woman is a babe with fever, so we have come here to collect some silver to buy an electuary for her. Hark ye, my girl, your mother is ill. Sorely ill, sir. And needs good food and things thou canst not buy. Oh, alas, this is true. Wouldst thou earn an hundred crowns? An hundred crowns? They might save her life. Then listen to them. A worthy but unhappy gentleman is to be beheaded on this spot in an hour. For sufficient reason, he desires to marry before he dies and has asked me to find him a wife. What? Thou will be that one. The wife of a man I've never seen. And why, sir, look you, I am concerned in this, for though I am not yet wedded to Elsie Maynard, Time works wonders, and there's no knowing what may be in store for us. Have we your worship's word for it that the gentleman will die today? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say, yes. And that the maiden will be allowed to depart the very instant the ceremony is at an end? The very instant I pledge my word of honour that it shall be so. And hundred crowns? And hundred crowns. For my part, I consent. And it is for Elsie to speak. <laughs> How say you, maiden, will you wait the man about to lose his head? For half an hour you'll be a wife, and then the doubt is yours for life. A headless husband, why refuse? If truth the poets tell, most bridegrooms ere they marry lose both head and heart. <coughs> I 
and of all the jests, ancient and modern, past, present, and to come, I can visit you from dawn of day to set of sun. And if that can take you not, well to midnight in the small hours. Oh, sir, a pity which I warrant you. A pretty, pretty wit. <laughs>
vows make a most tender and loving wife. Aye, to one whom I really loved. But there is a wealth of love within this little heart, saving up for, I wonder whom. Now, of all the world of men, I wonder whom to think that he whom I am to wed is alive and somewhere, perhaps far away, perhaps close at hand. And I know him not. It seemeth I am wasting time in not knowing him. <laughs> As thou wilt say it is I. Nay, suppose it, for the nonce, say that thou and I art wed. Suppose it only. Thou art my very bride, and I thy cheery, bright, joyous, frolicsome husband. <laughs> and the day's work being done, and the prisoners stored away for the night, thou and I.